Welcome to the dishwashing area. The dishwashing position is divided into two different position cards, but if there's not enough people on your shift, both position cards get filled by one person. So we're going to do the how-tos of how to do dishes, but first things first, we're going to start with a perk. You can plug in your phone or your iPod when you're back here, and it plugs into this speaker right here. You'll also be able to turn on the fan, which is located on top of the freezer. You just plug it into the outlet to keep you cool and comfortable while you're back here. When you're ready to start washing dishes, make sure that you plug in the light and turn it on so that you can see what you're washing. You're going to fill up all three sinks with hot water. All of our dishes at Agora go through the three sink system. The first sink closest to the wall has soap in it. You want to put the soap in while the sink is filling up so that you see this bubbly consistent soap. If you find that you don't see any of the soap or the bleach, first look underneath the sinks in the boxes. If you still can't find any soap or bleach, ask the manager on your shift if there's any more hiding somewhere. You can use this thermometer here. It's marked dish water only. That means that you only place this thermometer in to check the temperature of our sinks. The water has to be at least 45 degrees Celsius. If it drops below 45 degrees Celsius, you need to empty your sinks and refill them. So we're still good at about 50 degrees Celsius. The other thing you have to do is make sure that the bleach concentration in the sink is not too high and not too low. You can do that by using the bleach strips that are right next to the bleach and your thermometer. You can take one of these strips out, you dip it very quickly in the water, and the strip will turn purple. You can compare that to the colors that are on the outside of the tube. The strip should be the purple that corresponds to 100 parts per million. If it's lighter than this color purple, you need to add a little bit more bleach, but not too much. If it's darker than this, you need to empty some of the water and fill it back up with non-bleach water. Once your sinks are set up, you can start washing your dishes. Dishes will be brought from the front and from other floors to the back here. You want to keep this area as organized as possible. One way of doing that is scraping and sorting your dishes as you get them. You can see there's still leftover entree and salad on this plate. So you can scrape it into our compost bins and sort your dishes. So the plates go together, the bowls go together, the cutlery goes separate, and so do the mugs and glasses. Before you start washing your dishes, you can see if there's any baked on or cooked on foods left in any of your pots from the front. If there is, like in the soup pot, you can fill it up with hot water and let it pre-soak. You also want to keep the back here as organized as possible, but if your dishes are starting to build up, it's okay to leave them on the floor until you can get to them at the sinks. You should be using the yellow gloves that are provided here when you're washing your dishes. Everyone needs to wear gloves when they're washing the dishes so that they can protect themselves from the hot water and in case anything breaks. If all of the gloves that are back here are either dirty, wet, or smelly, you can ask the manager on your shift to get you new gloves. You can find the new gloves in this locker up at the top, and the keys that your manager has will unlock this locker. You can also find fresh sponges in this locker. Now you're ready to start washing your dishes. The reason why you've sorted everything is so that it makes it easier once you move everything to your washing sink. You can take all the bowls, all the plates, etc. over to your washing sink. You can use a sponge 
you can use a brush, you can use whatever feels most comfortable when you're washing the dishes. We also have this special brush for our containers that have salad dressing in them so that... <laughs> now you're ready to start washing your dishes. We've arranged the dishes so that you can take them one pile or one set at a time. So I'm going to grab all of the bowls and bring them over to my washing sink. When you're washing the dishes, you can use the sponge or you can use the brush. Just use whatever feels most comfortable. We also have this special brush for our salad dressing containers and anything that's difficult to clean out. You want to get all the food particles off of the dish that you're washing and then you want to put the dish into the rinsing sink. It needs to stay in the sanitizing sink for a minimum of two minutes. Also, you want to make sure that you're not getting your gloves in direct contact with the bleach water. You don't want the bleach to transfer to your scrubbing sink. That's why we have the rinse sink in between the two. One thing you want to be careful of is washing knives. You want to make sure that you don't leave a knife soaking in your washing sink because you won't be able to see it under the bubbles and it could injure someone. You want to wash your knife just like you would any other dish. Rinse it just the same, but when it gets to the sanitizing sink, you want to sanitize it upright in this section where the plug and the divider is. This is where the dishwashing roll is divided into a no dishwasher number two. And one of dishwasher number two's roles is to transfer the dishes that we're sanitizing into the drying area. So once you have a dish that has been sitting in the bleach water for a minimum of two minutes, you want to transfer it onto the drying rack from top down in order to dry from top down, meaning that um, you don't want to store any wet dishes over top of any other dishes that were already drying. And when you store them, you also want to store them at an angle so that um, the water drips out and no water pools within the bowls or the dishes or any other lips of sort containers. And we also want to let them air dry and we don't want to use cloths to dry them because that can cause cross-contamination or foodborne illnesses. And we also don't want to use uh, paper towels to dry them unless we're really desperate and in order to be as sustainable as possible. Another role of the dishwasher too, or any other volunteer that are helping out the dishwashers, is to go on a bin run, meaning you can go collect dishes uh, from other floors of Macmillan. If you haven't been in the building other than in a Gore Cafe, this is a great way to explore more of the Macmillan building. What you want to do is you want to grab an empty bin from the back, and you want to start on the top floor by taking the elevator up, and so that you don't get tired and you don't need to carry the dishes up along with you on each floor. Um, if it's not busy, you can ask if there's another volunteer on shift that would like to come along with you so that you can carry all the dishes back down without doing multiple trips at one time. If you want to look for uh, Agora dishes which have the stamp on it painted in red or any other dirty dishes that are on each of the levels, in bins or on tables on each of the floors. You also have to make sure you put the dishes back where they belong, here up front. This is how you stack plates. You want to stack the bigger plates at the bottom and the small plates on top or in their own pile. You don't want them to fall over. This is dangerous and this is safe. If there's a dish that breaks, please be very careful if you're handling it. You should let the manager on your shift know that something broke so they can give you explicit instructions for how to deal with it or they will handle it themselves. In general, the broken dish should be swept up and taken to the loading bay for disposal. Never put broken dishware into the garbage. Now you can follow me to the loading bay and I'll show you what we do with broken glassware.
Make sure you separate the glassware from the ceramics. And always be very careful. We don't want you to hurt yourself if you're trying to take care of broken glassware or ceramics.